the first of the three spirits when scrooge awoke it was so dark that looking out of bed he could scarcely distinguish the transparent window from the opaque walls of his chamber he was endeavouring to pierce the darkness with his ferret eyes when the chimes of a neighbouring church struck the four quarters so he listened for To his great astonishment, the heavy bell went on from six to seven, and from seven to eight, and regularly up to twelve, then stopped. Twelve! It was past two when he went to bed. The clock was wrong. An icicle must have got into the works. He touched the spring of his repeater, to correct the most preposterous clock. Its rapid little pulse beat twelve, and struck. Why, it isn't possible," said Scrooge. "But I can have slept through a whole day and far into another night. It isn't possible that anything has happened to the sun, and this is twelve at noon."